Oh, hi. In this video, we will talk about how to debug a test case in test sigma. So we already seen that how to capture test cases by recording option, without recording option, all these things. But when you're executing your test case, you see some failures. But if you want to debug those test cases, which step and what purpose it is failing, with which reason it is failing, I want to know all those information. For that, normally if you write any test case or any automation tool, you will try to debug your code using any one of the IDEs. If you talk about Java, if you use Eclipse and you debug the code in Eclipse. And the same way, in Test Sigma also, you can debug your test case and you can find any issues and you can rectify there itself. So for that, first what you'll do, first we'll go to one of the test cases. So I'll go to the test development. So here I have different test cases. I'll go to for loop demo, just an example. So once you go here, you see here, long, uh, before to the run button, you have launch debugger. So this option only available in your local machine. So normally, if you want to debug anything, so normally it will be in your local machine. So, but we need to remember it will, uh, the, the currently it will work only with in your local machine. So for that, if you want to execute uh, your test case locally, you need to start test sigma agent. So test sigma agent is already running in my machine. So let me launch debugger. You just click on this launch debugger. All license have been consumed. So if you see something like this, go to here, left option, usage details. So something is running in behind. So stop here and close this. So click on launch debugger again. So this is only available with your local device. So this is my local device. If you see the option, so agent is live. So agent is running debug options. So your test case is keep failing on 10th step. So while you're debugging, you want to run till the step failure or run till a specific step. So you know in which step you want to stop and debug. So when you select this option, it will show all your steps here, which are available in the test case. Select any one of the step according to your failure scenario. I'm just, as an example, I'm taking 2.1 step. And then you have some additional settings, page load time, element timeout, all these things. So we don't need this for at this point of time. So now when you select a run till specific step and you select this step, and then you just click on run now. So the moment you see, uh, sorry, you click on run now button. So it will open a browser. So it will take a little bit time. You see still it's booting. You see browser open and you observe this API test sigma.com slash UI slash load debugger. So first loading debugger, please wait for a moment. And it is navigated to the URL for our test case. After loading the web page, you can see separate window here. I'll let it come. You see that? Test steps, loading record. Now you see all the steps here and you see a bug icon here. Here we put our debug point. Step we verify, uh, step we selected, right? So it will show here. And once you come here, the moment when you hover, you see three dots, show more, click on this, step over. Step over means it will go to the next step. Okay, so click on step over, it will go to the next step. So you can execute step by step. Okay, so it went to the next step again, you see this one. Go there, step over. Now it will type something here. You see that it is typing. So step by step, you can debug something like this. And apart from that, what is the reason for your failure? When you click on this, sorry. When you click on here, you see that element search, rerun. You made a mistake in capturing the step. So you can edit the step here itself. You see that you can edit the step and you can update. So I'm not doing that. And uh, element you captured wrongly. 
you see that edit element is it this css selector you have written wrong you can correct it and you can update okay element updated successfully so once you're done you can rerun your execution or re resume execution rerun whatever you want to you can do so resume execution so the moment when you see resume execution so it will stop it start executing one by one so this is how when there is a failure or if you have any doubt on your step capturing then you can debug your test case and you can correct itself then and there if you have any uh, element you want to change then simply you can hi uh, highlight here you can capture the element there itself it is executing so once it is done you can simply click on done okay so then so it still it is running but our intention is to how to debug a test case right this is one of the beautiful options it should be there another the reason is if you have multiple steps something is failing keep on failing in some some step but you are not very clear why it is failing so that time you can debug step by step and you can understand why it is failing and then and there you can fix okay so this is how you can debug a test case in test sigma okay so that's all in this video please like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for interesting content thank you